There is a much, much faster and easier way to find the equation of a best fit line in Excel that most people don't know about. I'm gonna show you how to do that first, and then I'm gonna show you the really cool way of finding a best fit line in Excel with a scatter plot and a trend line. Let's go ahead and dive in. This is a homework question that I give my students. It's asking for the equation of the regression line. A lot of these questions also ask for the correlation coefficient, that R value. We're gonna do both, and we're gonna start with the easy way. I'm just gonna copy this data and dump it right into Excel. So clicking, holding, and dragging through the data. I'm gonna do a Control C to copy. On a Mac, I would do a Command C, and then over into an empty cell in Excel, I'm gonna do a Control V or Command V if you're on a Mac. Now, my goal here is to find the equation of the regression line, and that regression line is in the form Y equals MX plus B. So I really need to find M, which is my slope, and B, which is my Y intercept. I can do this without using a scatter plot. Let's do it. I'm gonna start by finding M, my slope. So to find that slope, you're gonna to go to an empty cell and you're just gonna hit equals slope. You're gonna call up that slope function and then parenthesis, and it says, give me your known y's first. Okay, they're over here. I'm just gonna click, hold, and drag through the y values, followed by a comma, and then it wants my x's, so click, hold, and drag through my x's, and then hit enter. This is my slope. Let's go ahead and put this into our equation so far. Y is equal to 0.1793, let's call that 0.179x, and I'm still looking for that b value. Okay, next up is the b, which is our Y intercept. I'm just going to say Y I N T. For this one, you're going to do the same exact thing, but this time you're going to say equals intercepts. And sure enough, up pops that intercept function that finds the intercept for a best fit regression. So parentheses, and it's going to want the same things, the known Y's, highlight those, and then comma, and those known X's, I'm going to select those and then enter. So I've got my B. Let's go ahead and put that into our regression line. We already have our regression line. It's positive. So 58 points, let's call that 76. 037603. Now we can also find the correlation coefficient, which I'm going to do here in just a second, but I want to get to the cool way of coming up with a scatter plot for the data and the trend line, which is what Excel calls the best fit line. To do that, we're going to highlight all of that data. Okay, so I've got it all highlighted, and then I do insert followed by chart, and I want to choose a scatter plot from this chart. This is kind of an interesting chart. Part, right? There's a few things that I want to adjust, and there's a couple of ways that you can do those adjustments. You can hit the plus sign to bring up some adjustments. You can also click on different elements, or you can double click on the chart. What I really want to do is to adjust my X and my Y axes so that I get a better view of my points. So I'm going to double click on those axes. Now I clicked on that Y axis. So for the Y's, I really want the minimum to be more like 50 and the maximum of 80 is fine. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then let's double click on the X's as well. They're not as bad, but I want to change that minimum to be a 10. So just double clicking on it. And then I'm going to do a 10 right there. Now let's add that trend line. To add the trend line, I'm going to click my X here. I'm going to use the plus sign here. If you happen to not have this plus sign, you want to go over here to the left and choose add chart element. I'm going to click the plus sign though, and I'm going to choose trend line. I'm going to check the box, but I'm also going to choose this arrow for more options. And I do want more options. I really want the equation of that trend line. So as I scroll down here, I'm going to check that box to display the equation on the chart. I'm also going to click the other box to display the R squared value on that chart. Now you can play around with this as well. You can double click the line and then go over to options. And I want this not to be dashed. Let's make this a solid line. I also want a different color. I'm going to make this an orange color. Okay, so it's looking so much better. Now I've got, if I click on these labels, I've got the equation of my line. So from my labels, you can see that this matches the equation of the line that we found at the very beginning. Now it doesn't give me the correlation coefficient. Instead, it gives me the R squared value, the correlation coefficient squared, which I really wanted that to be close to one and it's not. Let's find the R value. So I'm gonna find that correlation coefficient, correlation, I'm just gonna abbreviate it R. It gave me R squared, but I really want R instead. Let me move this out of the way. So I'm gonna go equals square root 
of our squared 0.2347. Now it only gives me four decimal places. So the better way to find your correlation coefficient is to, I'm just gonna write more accurate. The much more accurate way to find R is to use the function like we used at the beginning. So I'm gonna go equals, and I'm just gonna start typing in correlation, and it's C-O-R-R-E-L, and then parenthesis, and it wants your data values. Let's go ahead and highlight the X's, and then comma, I'm gonna highlight those Y values, and then enter, and you can see that we get a really, really close value, but a much more accurate value that tells me this really isn't a good fit. I would need that to be closer to a positive one. Subscribe for more videos like this one. Excel does so much more. I've got another video for you here.